Hi everyone, Dr. Nimichek here. I want to talk about uh, there's frequently reports of POTS, uh, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome occurring after COVID or SARS-CoV-2 infection. And uh, just kind of tell you what that's all about. So as many of you know, I have been involved for 20 years in kind of analyzing and working out ways to help people recover from um, minor brain injuries, meaning brain injuries without blood, like a stroke or a hemorrhage in the brain, okay? And what we have discovered, we, in a broad sense, the whole research community, is that if you can reduce levels of inflammatory chemicals known as cytokines in the brain, that the brain is capable of recovering, all right? We've also learned that there's a variety of ways you can uh, sustain a brain injury. Now, when, when you say that, most people think of like physical things. So we know physical, like a concussion. So a concussion is you snap neurons in your brain, but you don't bleed, okay? Down to what we call sub-concussive events, uh, which are like a soccer ball hitting you in the head. We don't think that's a concussion, but actually we now know it snaps neurons in your brain, okay? So you have these physical injuries that run a gambit. Uh, you have emotional injuries. Uh, this is known as a Takasubu event and is you know most deadly in the frail or elderly. So this is dying of a broken heart. You know, grandma dies and grandpa's grief is so intense, we now know grandpa can sustain a brain injury in his brain that's so bad it'll trigger either a heart attack or a heart failure or a stroke and he dies. And these injuries that occur from emotions, you can actually, in the animal models, you can see them in a microscope, okay? And yeah, they're physical hardware injuries from emotions. So we got physical injuries, we got emotional injuries, and then you have inflammatory injuries from the immune system, the surge in chemicals you experience like when you get the flu and your muscles are achy and everything like that, same thing with COVID, those chemicals can actually injure your brain, all right? We know you release these chemicals after simple surgery. So simple abdominal or thoracic surgery can give you a concussion, all right? There's even a, diagnos a diagnosis for that now. It's called post-operative cognitive disorder or your brain doesn't work after surgery, okay? Big bone fractures like pelvis, femur can do it, and uh, big time infections like COVID. COVID has a extreme surge in inflammatory cytokines in many patients, even in patients with minimal symptoms, okay? And we now know that's causing injury uh, to the brain. And in particular, when of all these types of injuries, uh, when uh, whether it's physical, emotional, or inflammatory, Many patients have trouble with their autonomic nervous system. And this is the part of the brain that regulates all other aspects of your physiology. Because if you think about it, you know, your body runs differently, whether you're sound asleep or being chased by a tiger. And the autonomic nervous system accounts for all the differences and all the different ways you can imagine in your physiology between those two moments and how different they are. Uh, but the, the most common type of symptom that people have when they get a brain injury uh, to the autonomics is they have trouble regulating their blood pressure. And that's what POT is, POTS, okay? POTS has a twofold problem. One is they can't just generate blood pressure to their head, okay? Now there's another subset of patients with autonomics called neurogenic orthostatic hypotension, okay? These are people, they can't get blood pressure to their head. They get up there occasionally feeling, ooh, a little wobbly and stuff like that but their heart response is fairly normal. So their pulse goes up 100, 110. Okay, trying to compensate for that. POTS is, you got the low blood pressure thing, so you're standing up, you're like, woo, a little lightheaded, I can't feel, you know, I can't focus or stuff like that. And your heart rate kind of compensatory mechanism is damaged. And instead of going to like 100, 110 on the pulse, it goes to 140 and your, chest, your heart feels like it's gonna explode out of your chest. So it's kind of like two components of the blood pressure regulatory system are damaged simultaneously. That's what POTS is, all right? And uh, 
COVID's causing a lot of this. Now, if you don't have any prolonged inflammatory stress in your body, you should spontaneously recover in about three months, max, if not sooner. If you have COVID and these symptoms, and sometimes, interestingly, this, it starts kind of within a month after COVID, these symptoms start happening, uh, and it doesn't go away, that means you have chronic inflammatory stress in your body that was triggered by COVID. Now, that could be that COVID damaged your vagus nerve, which is your regulatory mechanism for uh, inflammation, and so maybe a vagus nerve stimulator could overcome that. But really, much more commonly in my experience of the patients we're seeing in the office is it's also, we, we now know COVID can damage the small intestine. The nervous system on the small intestine has the highest concentration of ACE2 receptors, and it's triggering bacterial overgrowth or what's known as SIBO, S-I-B-O, which is a huge source of inflammatory stress uh, in the body, and that's what's actually preventing you from recovering. And so, luckily, our protocol, which we've been working on for you know 20 years, is actually in part focused on balancing the gut bacteria, balancing it, at which will reduce inflammation, reducing inflammation through these inflammatory omega-6 molecules in the food supply, and improving inflammation through the vagus nerve stimulator. Um, so I recommend if you're having this trouble, whatever, you might consider coming out for a consultation. You go to nimacheckautonomicmedicine.com and up in the consultation bar, there's some information about how you can get uh, a consult if you're interested. We also have a, uh, you can find it on the, on the uh, uh, top menu, a autonomic quiz to see what other symptoms you have that might actually be due to autonomics, okay? Uh, autonomic damage, I should say. So, POTS and COVID, very common. It's a brain injury you didn't recover from. And it's an injury you cannot see on an MRI scan. I should also add that MRI or CT scan, but it's recoverable. Your brain can still fix that if we can get the inflammation down. All right, that's all for now. Good luck to you. Bye.